They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Blanche. You know, I've been in San Diego for a week. I've done multiple interviews with all kinds of people, the breaking news. And of course, you know, this morning was out that Fukushima themselves, not their watchdog, are reporting the same thing that we've said forever. I've learned something down here. I met with marine biologists. I met with the freaking Navy personnel. I met with reporters. I met with some. Nobody allowed me to video them. It's all about tourism, 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 tourism. It's all about this right here on the beach. Right here, just now. Greenpeace has two young activists passing, and I struck up a cordial conversation with them. How come you're reinforcing part Fukushima? They immediately says, if are you here to sign up? I said, fuck no, I'm not here to fucking sign up. Well, they move on. I said, no, fuck you, you move on. This is how brainwashed. They take these young activists, these young do-nothing, know-nothing fucks. He's living in a $3 million house right up above fucking songs in there, fucking sitting in his life some fucking styles, a fucking scummy piece of shit. I'm like, do you realize all you're doing out here, every $20, $20 you get a month, it goes right to him for his big fucking house. You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. You're a corporate scum. And like, well, are you here to sign up? I says, fuck, please. I says, you young fucking people, pull your head out of your fucking ass. Down here, they're obliterated. There's plenty of people that know down here. Here's what they're playing on them. Now the all strike up conversation about something. Well, now we're going to have to pay for the decommission. Hello, I tell them, hello. By law, the money's set aside. The money's there for decommission. No, it has to be put up front. Then law, that's the law. The money's there. Secondly, 40% of too much energy produced in the state of California. They don't get that. They don't understand that. They don't understand this is being scammed and shoved down their throat. Nuclear waste on site, all oh, it could take 60 years to decommission. Another lie. Take two years if they did it. Yeah, spent fuel sitting on their site, so is it just as bad as it's running? Not as bad as it's running. Almost as bad as it's running. Because all 40 years of spent fuel, oh, we're going to tomb it on site now. It's pathetic. But I did make some progress down here with one demographic, the Navy, believe it or not, the Navy. I met with a marine biologist from the Navy. I met with a marine an uh, attorney from the Navy. We have, they know. Oh, do they know. And I've seen this report in Stars and Stripes. They know leukemia is showing up when the USS Reagan, they guinea pig them on the dig. They know. They're pissed. They're pissed. That's where we're going to break this back. The corporate media does our point. We're going to break this back through the Navy down here, through the Marines. They know. They're, they know. All the meetings I had with all the media, with all the activists, the activists down here, they're just as do nothing as the rest of the activists around. Fuck, they don't do shit. Sit around a computer screen, but they don't do shit. Nobody allowed to go on that tape. The marine biologists know. They know. They know. Every one of them. They'll tell you straight behind closed doors. Every one of them. I met with all kinds of them. They'll tell you straight up. It's about tourism dollars. It's about dollars. That's all we've been forced out about the, the economy. When this destroys economies, not bolsters the economy, they think they're making money, they're losing money. It's a pathetic, pathetic commentary. Fukushima themselves are many pointing to the Pacific, as I've been reporting from day one. This is not going to, and I tell them all the time, I tell every marine biologist, I mean, with every person, you know it's pointing to the Pacific, yet you won't hold a sign up here and tell these people. I was talking to some young people from Brazil right here. Surfers. And they asked me, well, they know. I says, they asked me, would I go in if I was young? Yeah, if I was young, not state. They're not going to steal this thunder from me. They're not going to take our humanity from me. I would probably be in the water, you know, but at my age and my knowledge and my condition, hell no, wouldn't put my toe into that filthy freaking big toilet. It's all about tourism dollars, as they obliterated the landscape here anyway. It's a pathetic, pathetic commentary on America. Will this ever change? Oh yeah, it's going to change. When all these ignorant, dumb, pathetic baby boomers are dead. It's the most pathetic generation of people in the history of humanity. East coast, west coast, left coast, right coast, up, down, all across demographics. Like I said, they're socially conscious here somewhat. They know. And as far as activism, yeah, there's a small handful, but it's a sad, sad state here along the Pacific. They don't give a fuck. They, you know, I, I was talking to them to start there this morning. Here it is, right here. I handed it to them. This is TEPCO themselves. TEPCO themselves did a press conference this morning. This morning, their own press conference. Now think about this. After 860 some odd days, how pathetic are we relying on TEPCO? Nobody will step in. The nuclear industry just shows they have control of the United States military. They have control of the, they are the United States military. They have control of the Obama administration. They have control of every politician in their pocket. They have control of every single marine biology department in the country. 
You want to talk about the banking 1%. <laughs> they don't hold a candle to the nuclear 1%. The ocean is contaminated. TEPCO reporting themselves. Stay in tune.